All right. I am back and Both let's do it. Italian law enforcement. The Italian government has not released the name of the organization. It said examine something a second ago. Concerns. Examine. Examine. That kids enjoy candy. What does it say? Examine. I think there's enough coke knife. residue on this knife to get very, very high. Examine. <laughs> I love how that small the text is. Gesture. Hong sure could have gotten me a real sword. It is pretty cool that you get. I sure hope Nazri likes waterboarding. <laughs> a nice place. Oh, great. Picture of Darcy. He wrote, Mike and Sean, fuck yeah! With three exclamation points. Sorry, Madison. All right, cool. So next one is retrieve NSB. Yep, that's our next one. Start. Is this Scarlet? This is oh. Mike from the plane, right? You remembered. You didn't give me a reason to forget. Heard you were in Taipei. Thought I'd call. So it takes me coming to Taipei for you to get back to me. About your offer of exchanging information. I remember. Do you have something? I'm here in town trying to find out all I can about President Sung in the upcoming rally. Sung? Why? Is there something wrong? His life is in danger. Why do you think that? I have an inside source. He's a target and I need to warn him. I don't have a lot of friends here in Taipei. And certainly not ones with press credentials who can move freely. Can you help me? What did you have in mind? A little covert operation, if you're up for it. I might be. I'd need the details first. I'll fire them over, along with the location to meet up. All right, then. Talk to you soon, Mike. Okay, nice. So this one's a, uh, seems like it might be like a covert, like, just go in and chat and then leave. Grand Hotel, I pay. Everybody online? Nice. In position in the lobby. In position to rain death on my enemies. <laughs> we need the NSB's threat analysis. What we don't need is to be added to their list. I want minimal confrontation and no civilian casualties. What are you expecting me to do, Mike? Bludgeon a wandering guard to death with a camera? <laughs> Actually, that last part was mostly for Steven. Anybody ever tell you you're a real wet blanket, Mike? Steven, you're with me. There will be a map of the conference in the security office. You're going to be my distraction. Can do, Mike. Would you prefer a hot distraction or a loud distraction? What's the difference? Hot distractions have more fire. No casualties, Stephen. Especially not civilians. Are we clear? Yeah, sure. No bodies. Scarlet, I need you to stay in the lobby for now. Hang out in the bar, see if you can find me a lonely convention attendee. And do what with him, exactly? Talk him up. Find out something useful. Use some of those ace reporter skills I hear so much about. I... sure, Mike. Should be a piece of cake for you. I'll call you as soon as I have anything. What about me? You stay in touch with everybody. Keep us all up to date on what's going on. Can you get into the security system? Already done. Okay, nice. everybody knows the score? Then let's move out. Remember, people, this is our one chance to get this intel. Let's do it right. <laughs> I Good see us on the now. TV. Nice. Rendezvous with heck. All right, let me uh, ammo. Heads up, Mike. There. The administrative offices are under guard, and they've got security cameras set up. Hey, buddy, do you like those TV cooking shows? Oh, bye. Nice distraction. Thanks, Steven. We'll hack this real quick. Ah. 
Let's go. There we go. Bingo. Got the conference map. And there's the NSP station. Hmm. Looks like some parts of the hotel are locked off with keycard locks. Then you better watch for opportunities to get one. You need to get to this information. Tell me something I don't know. Rendezvous with Scarlet. Yeah. Hack that. Here we go. security officer has a distinct weakness for my ties and redheads in that order <laughs> Get anything useful out of him not much just his room key oh. he didn't happen to have an access pass for the elevators to the convention floor did he you know funny enough i think he did that's perfect you did great scarlet one more little surprise for you i managed to snap a picture of him seems like if security were told it was the face of a known sex offender that would make a nice distraction for hotel security. Good call. Meet me in the restroom by the VIP suite. I'll give you what I have. On my way. Nice. Uh, is that Penthouse floor? Oh, there she is. Here you go, Mike. You're the best. I ever tell you that? Not often enough, I think. Thanks, Scarlet. I'll be seeing you, Mike. Be seeing you. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, I see through there for a second. Whoa, ho, ho. oh my God. One. Two, three, four, five, seven. Wise luck. I'll hack this one. I don't know how many more of those I have left. It's that and uh, see it. Move. Why can I not see this one? Where is it not moving? Five seconds. Abort. Damn it. Shoot. And that should do it. We have an intruder in the VIP area. I need backup. He's armed. Take him down. Oh my gosh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Yes. What is it, sir? You have to come with us. Oh. For what? Is this a joke? You think touching kids is a joke? You sick bastard. <laughs> What are you talking about? I haven't done it. Move. We aren't going to ask again. Good distraction. Go, 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 go. Eight. Okay, there's one. Right there. Got it. Whew. All right, I've got the access badge and a floor plan of the hotel. Looks like the express elevator in the penthouse goes straight to the conference floor. Good work, Mike. The NSB is patrolling the area. If you watch their pattern, you should be able to find a gap in their patrol and move past without them seeing you. Someone out 
there? Nobody's here. Don't worry. What? Got it. What? Hey, Who? that's swell, Mike. Really great. Hey, uh, you think you could do me a solid and find a file on the NSB servers for me? I guess. What file? Mine. It didn't mean a lot to me. <laughs> uh, sure. I'll take a look. You're the best, Mike. Did you hear about that thing in Rome? Yeah. Oh god, what is going on? Uh, two, five, oh. Oh, that's right. Wait, what? Oh, right there. And then seven right there. This is interesting. What is it? NSB file on Omen Dang. General description, basic intel. I'm downloading this. Anything of more immediate use? Some attempt at infiltration into his organization was made, and before the agent in question was killed, he was able to bug some important intel. That could be useful. You're telling me. Hey, Mike, you're not gonna go and do something. Mike, what did you do? NSB security just went to full alert. You're going to need to cancel the security lockdown to get out of there. Hurry, Mike. According to the hotel blueprints, there should be a security terminal off the lobby. Second floor. Steven, do you copy? Like a floppy. What's up? <laughs> I took care of that file you asked me about. As far as the NSB is concerned, there's nobody in the world named Steven Heck. Hey, that's great, Mike. Mind you, it'll make things harder for little Steven Jr. suddenly having no legal identity. But hey, thanks anyways. Uh, sure. No oh, problem. God. I wish I could see. Damn it, okay, Heck, what the hell are you doing? Steven, you said distraction. This distracting enough? Heck. Wait, there's no time. Just get out of there. I'm working on it. There's seven. And there's AA. Save a lockdown. Just get out. Mina, the doors are locked. I need a new exit ASAP. I'm checking the blueprints now. Got it. There are some access tunnels underground. They should lead you right out. Where? Service area behind the reception desk. Go. On my way. So you're saying that disabling that lockdown in the first place was. A waste okay, of time. I'm at the elevator. You sure this will get me out? Positive. The elevator leads to those access tunnels. You can slip out before the authorities know you're gone. Got it. Whew. It's a minute. Wow, a lot of stuff went down for that one. Stephen Heck. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see you. I can see you too, Mike. Okay. What's on your mind, Heck? Stephen, anywho, just wanted to drop you a line and find out if all that killing I didn't do was worth your while. You get what you needed? Thanks to the NSB, I've got the transponder codes for the bug they planted with the assassin's orders. And thanks to my other leads, I know when and where that package will be. Hey, look at you with your clues and your spy satellites and your secret general nuking microwave guns. You're like a real spy. I don't actually have one of those. Really? Oh, they're great. Melt the balls right off you. <laughs> Why, that's great that you got it all sorted out. You need any more mayhem while you're in town, you know who to call. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Nice. Finally.
So what's the master? Reduces the difficulty of lockpick. Uh, nice. Weapon customization, that, and that. Uh, let me see. All right, email, archive, buy. Oh, we can archive that one. Clearing house. Intel. Nice. Buy some more. Uh, tranquilizer. Exit. There we go. Just want to check my inventory loadout. Or equipment. Cindy bomb. I'd rather have more EMPs. Okay. That's all good. Let's see. Retrieve. We did that. Intercept. Assassination plans. There it is. Mike Bobola. What's the shakes? Any more antics on the horizon? Bad guys need thwomping. Liberty need protecting. Adorable aliens need rescuing from sinister government labs. Steven, hey. Uh, just calling to let you know I've got all the intel I need to intercept this package on the assassination. The exchange goes down tonight at the Xingmei subway station. Thanks for the heads up, Mike. I'll make sure I disable all those surprise audio mines I've got scattered around the city subway system. You don't <laughs> really have those, do you? If I told you that, there wouldn't be a surprise, would there? Plus, I'd have to staple your tongue to the roof of your mouth to keep you from telling anybody. Operational security, nothing personal. Right. Well, anyways, I thought you should know, since Taipei is sort of your turf and all. I appreciate that, Mike. You've always been a stand-up guy, you know that? Not like when. No, sir. Not like when at all. <laughs> you know, there could be a lot of bad guys down there. If you wanted to help me take them out, well, I wouldn't say no. Really? You mean it? Oh, Mike, you don't know how much that means to me. So you'll do it. Will I do it? Damn right I will. You just go do your thing. I think you're gonna like the surprise I got cooked up. Why do I get the feeling you've planned this? Because I have, Mike. Right. Okay then. See you down you there. You betcha. He plays an interesting character. Three twelve. I pay. I'm not seeing anything. Are you sure we've got the right place? Everything we have points to here and now, Mike. Hold on. I've got a signal. It's on the move. About 500 meters west of your current position. What the hell's it doing over there? They must have moved the drop. Mina? Mina! Portable radio channel. Very useful. <laughs> Points for considering camouflage, Agent Thornton. But try something that blends in with the civilians more than the surroundings. How do you know who I am? You've made quite the impression in the intelligence community with your past exploits. Perhaps you don't hide quite as well as you think. Omen Dang, I think you and I have business to sell. Agreed. But it would be on my agenda. I have things to take care of. Tasks I cannot allow you to interrupt. There is a maintenance door over there. Go inside. Whatever you say. You're the guy in charge here, Dan. I'm glad you see reason in this. So, what now? I'm not going to kill you. Eventually your body will be found and will spark a police investigation. That is attention I would prefer not to draw. You'll be staying put right here. <laughs> Me. Sorry I about that, got interrupted. What happened? I just met the legendary Omen Dang, who locked me in a maintenance tunnel. I'm not going to ask. I see you. The package is still in play. It's on the move, at the next platform over. I'm on it. Hurry, Mike. There's no telling how much time we have. Where is he? Dang, the dog was here. I've got company. So much for Dang's word. I don't know. Stay here. I'll take a look down the hall. Wait.
Oh, damn it. But I was going the wrong way anyways. <laughs> Trains are pretty loud here. Might come in handy if I need to take a shot. Keep on running. Honestly, this place would be a mess trying to stealth all the way through. Getting somewhere. Hey, there's a zip line right there. Oh, here we go. Hardly anybody here. Where are Deng's men? The transponder says they're in your area. Maybe. I have your target agent, Thornton. He's on the platform below you, behind the gate. Perfect. How do I get to him? There's a security station at street level that has the gate controls. It should be lightly guarded. Remember, the security guards here aren't Chinese secret police. Don't start a dance off if you can help it. I'll be careful. The last thing we need is to get recorded. Try to turn off those station cameras while you're at it. Hey, what was that? Ah, it was nothing. No, I saw something on the monitor. Trust me, you didn't see anything. First I... Son, I've been on this job ten years. Trust me, sometimes, even if you see something... Uh... We're not supposed to be here! Requesting backup! We have a shooter! Gate's open now. Time to say hello to our friends downstairs. Heck, I've got a lot of guys down here. Oh, no. Any chance for an assist? I'm soft shooing my way to you right now, pal. Be there in two shakes of a high explosive device cunningly disguised as a lamb's tail. What? Oh, well, I disabled the alarms. I'm gonna take him out as nicely as I can. Great. Okay, where are we headed now? Oh, back down. And down again. Where? Huh. Oh, there it is. Only have a few more tranquilizer shots left. Oh boy. Hey. What? He's here. You said this location was safe. Kill him. Mike, your target is on the move. Don't let him get away. <gasps> I'm running out of here. We are now approaching the station. Forget y'all.
drop. Ha <laughs> ha. End of the line. I may die, but so will you. Think you can dodge a train? Damn. No time to turn back. Don't do it. Stick with surface streets for a while. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, we got out of there. And alive. Okay, I've got the disc. Let's see what Omen Dang knows. I'm patching you into my system so you can see what I'm seeing. Careful, Mike. Dang doesn't strike me as a guy who leaves mission critical data on an unsecured drive. And I strike you as the kind of guy who wouldn't think of that on his own? Is that what you're saying? Not at all, Mike. Just a friendly reminder. This is my job, after all. Any luck yet? Just bits and pieces. I'm seeing file headers for something about the assassination attempt, and there's something here about riots at Sung's rally. Are the two related? I'd say it seems likely, but I can't tell yet. Maybe the riots are to cover an escape. That's risking a lot of people's lives for an escape plan. Yeah, well, Dang doesn't strike me as the worried about collateral damage type. Damn it! What is it? Must have missed a security protocol. It's formatting the disk. I can't shut it down. How much have you decrypted? Not much. I'm trying to slow the format by running empty processes. Might buy me some time. I'm running out of time. The disk will be wiped before these files finish decrypting. Uh -oh. Can you at least salvage one of the files? I think I can get one of them, but there's not enough time to copy both. It's your call, Mike. But you better make it fast. Sung is the primary objective. If he dies, the entire region is destabilized. I'm downloading the assassination files now. Got it. That's it. Whatever else was on that disc is gone. At least we got some of it. Yeah, I just hope we made the right call. And now we flash forward. And so we come to the events in Taipei, Agent Thornton. How many more are left? Yeah, Taipei. I understand you still spoke two more missions Heck upon arriving. That was a wise decision. The man can be territorial. You know Heck? Who? That's not really your concern. It was Heck who provided you with information about the conference at the Grand Hotel, wasn't it? Do you even need to ask? Not especially. You were very discreet in your operation there. Still worried about civilian casualties? Somebody has to. A noble sentiment. Heck wasn't the only dangerous contact you made in Taipei, was he? You're talking about Hong Sure. Making deals with triad bosses isn't the best way to guarantee a long and healthy life. Operational intel isn't exactly overflowing. I needed information, and I needed it fast. Nevertheless... Your one-man crusade in the slums kicked the Taiwanese security forces into high gear. You may have done more harm to Hong Shi's organization than you realize. And then you met the mysterious Omen Deng. Deng got the drop on me. He was good, I'll give him that. But at the time, you still didn't know what his role in all this was, did you? You mean not we'll at all. That later. Faced with the choice of which information to save, you chose... I chose the information that would save Sung. Why? If Sung died, the entire country could be destabilized. That could push Taiwan into a war with China. That isn't worth stopping a few riots. I see. That's a very pragmatic strategy, Agent. I made the best choice I could, given the options. But it didn't turn out that way. Did it? I don't know. Okay, nothing else right here. All right, hold on one second. I just want to check something real quick.
Download. Mix. Thousand dollars. All right. Not too much, but that's all right. All right, let's do this uh, next one. More organized crime. Contact Predis President Song. You must be Agent Thornton. I understand you have some important information for me. Yep, just a yes, little sir. bit. I've learned about a plot to kill you during the rally this week, and to use your death to spark a massive riot and destabilize Taiwan. This is a troubling development, Agent Thornton. If it is true... You think I'm making it up? Let us just say I would like to hear the whole story before I make any decisions. A man with my political views lives with threats every day. If you can present me with compelling evidence of this plot, I will take action. The evidence I acquired was partially destroyed. Without proof, I'm afraid there's little I can do, Agent Thornton. What evidence do you have? I have proof of the plan to assassinate you. That's all. Then the riots are merely your conjecture? No, sir, Mr. President. Both threats are genuine. Please, for your safety, cancel your appearance at the rally. Canceling the rally at this juncture would do considerable harm to my cause. I am afraid it is out of the question. Then at least take extra precautions. Wear body armor during your speech. Post extra security something. Give me your evidence, Agent Thornton. If my security chief concurs that the threat is credible, I'm sure he will insist on my wearing a vest during the speech. But the if riot... I have security silenced dissenters in the crowd, I look like a petty dictator. I am sorry. But without hard evidence, I will not send that message to my people. This is all I have. Please use it, Mr. President. Taiwan can't afford to lose you right now. You are far more generous than some of my constituents, Agent Thornton. I will put this to good use. I promise you that. How'd it go? Oh, it could have been better. He didn't listen? I gave him the evidence on the assassination plot, but without proof of the riot phase of the plan, he refused to place extra security in the crowd. What are you going to do? The only thing I can do figure out how to stop both plans myself. That doesn't sound so hard. Keep me posted. Hmm. Well, found out that. Mike, how did it go with Sung? Not as well as I'd hoped. Did he believe you? He believed the assassination plot, but refused to take precautions against the riots. So, he didn't believe you? No. You tried, Mike. And helping you out? Well, you certainly keep things interesting. I've got to figure out the next step. Until then, you may want to get ready in case this story explodes. I hope not. Now I'm tempted to cover the rally. Are you planning to stay in Taipei then? Now I am. That is, if you think I can help, Mike. I don't know what I can do, but... You've been a big help so far. I couldn't have gotten to Sung without your help. You're right. But I was glad to pitch in. I'll try to gather what I can from my contacts, Mike. Until then... If I need any more help, I'll let you know. Thanks for everything, Scarlet. Good luck, Mike. And good luck with Sung. Nice. Uh... Alright, I think we're good to do the final mission in Taipei. Yep. And then we have, I think there's like four missions or it might depend on your standing with different people. Um, for the ending, I think it's just like contact a few people and then it's, uh, you have like a final mission or two. Looks like Dang's men already made it here. How's that satellite uplink mean? Working. And you're right. Satellite imaging shows Chinese secret police all throughout the parks. We're a little late. Steven, what's it looking like near the stage? It's a madhouse over here. But not in that fun, violent way. 
This should be interesting. I hope our friends actually show up on time. Could use the help. You better hurry, Mike. Sung's giving a speech in less than an hour. Speech? Weren't we here just for the fireworks? Yes, Mike. That and a little thing called regional stability. But those explosives are controlled from here. Bridge should be safe to cross now. Got him. Uh, you know what? Who? Thing is many. Nice. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I didn't get that upgrade there. Yeah, you'd better shut. Ready for a little show, Mike? Ready. The noise from those fireworks should cover the sound of gunfire. You might be able to use that. Just uh over there. Oh man, <laughs> we lost a lot of health right there. Oh nice, exit the gardens, we got a majority of it back. I've got a visual on Dang. Enter hey, Memorial Hall. we're not done yet. Oh boy. It ends here. Where the hell is my backup? Looks like they're still pinned down at the garden. They're not going to be any more help. Send all agents to the hall entrance now. Mike, Sun's car just made it to the rally. You better finish up in there before these fancy pyrotechnics do. Please. This game keeps trying to... Here. Be 
before the eyes of a nation you will die. It's on a second ago. Come out here, oh my dang. Zip line. I didn't think you were one to hide, dang. You're missing your big opportunity. Show yourself. No. You're in over your head. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was pretty cool. Oh no. Finish it. This doesn't make sense. I've read the files on you and Sun. Why would you try to kill him? I might not have been able to stop you, but my people will make you pay for killing Sun. You're a double agent? For how long? All my life. I won't cry then. That is. Consider it for a hired killer. What are you talking about? I'm not here to kill anybody. My sources were clear. Michael Thornton has come to Taipei to assassinate President Sun. Funny. My sources made it pretty clear you were here to kill him. Then your sources are mistaken. If you're not the assassin. Wow, we could have just Shit. executed him just like that. Damn it. I don't see anybody. I tried to warn him. I sent him everything I had in the assassination attempt. Mike, emergency frequencies are reporting riots breaking out. He's alive. And they're getting ugly. Additional security forces are en route. Thank. Copy that. Omen, we've got trouble coming in fast. I'm guessing you want to get to the bottom of this as much as I do. Yes. Then let's move out. We're clear. Mina, I'm patching Dang into our connection. Can you give us an update? Reports are still sketchy, but the news is saying Sung survived the attempt. He was wearing a bulletproof vest thanks to a tip from an anonymous source. He survived. <laughs> I'm glad the information I passed to him did some good at least. Nice. Not too bad. Not bad at all. Tragedy was averted today when an assassination attempt on Taiwanese President Ronald Sung proved unsuccessful. 
Government spokesmen say the president was warned about the attempt earlier this week by an anonymous source, which convinced him to wear a bulletproof vest during his speech. The president was taken to Taipei City Hospital, where he is reported to be in stable condition. News of the president's survival was not enough to quell riots that broke out shortly after the attack. Police say instigators within the crowd convinced spectators that the attack was part of a Chinese plot, which sparked the riot that has so far killed 23 people. Heck, calling Thornton, come in Thornton. Yeah, Heck, I'm here. Just a heads up, Mike. There's some folks out there that really hate you, pal. Tell me something I don't know. So this VCI comes to me and he says to me, Steve, I got a proposition for you. I always figured VCI as the offer you can't refuse types. So after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve, I say, and what proposition might that be, my good man? Heck. This guy says to me, oh God, please don't kill me. I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sung's assassin. Tell me you didn't. Not gonna lie, buddy. I was really tempted for a minute there. But I kinda like you, so I told him to piss off. Then I set him on fire to make sure he got the point. <laughs> Shouldn't you have stabbed him to make sure he got the point? I figured his cronies would probably try and find somebody less scrupulous than myself. So I went ahead and called the news stations. Should keep them off your back for a while. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, buddy. I want to lay low for a while, but I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Mike. Searching for a man called Wen Shu in connection huh. with the attack. So technically, he could have betrayed us, but he didn't because he liked us enough. So that's good. That should buy me a little time to get out of Taipei. Better get moving. The way it fades out like that reminds me of like Assassin's so Creed in the Animus. So this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets. An assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. There was going to be unrest no matter what I did. Just an attempted assassination would be enough to create a panic. But with Sung alive, there's at least a chance of reining it in. Now you're beginning to understand. I admit, the lack of an identified assassin might slow things down. But the people already believed the assassin was a Chinese agent. Omen Deng's escape won't stop the push for independence from growing stronger. You managed to escape Taipei undetected, largely because of an anonymous tip identifying a man called Wen Shu as the attempted assassin. Stephen Heck's work, I trust? Professional favor. Now I owe him one. It's pretty much how the spy business works. You have a knack for engendering trust, a useful skill for an intelligence agent. Mm -hmm. Must be my winning personality. That's all you cared about then. Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And how Beck makes a fortune off the new Cold War? If there's one thing better for business than a war, it's a Cold War. Are we loading Alpha Protocol safe house? Mike. Is it odd seeing me in person? Here we go. I could ask the same thing. It's not odd for me. <laughs> well, not after everything we've gone through. And what have we gone through exactly? I came here because we're out of time. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolve to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. So they don't even know they're starting a war. Not yet. First they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. And that means you. Then I have to stop them. Alone. You've done enough. No, Mike, I haven't. I could have done more. I could... If Alpha Protocol is erased, and you're erased. Whatever life you had will be gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you and kills you. And I can't let that happen to you. It's not about me, Mina. It's about stopping them. What happens to me, it doesn't matter. It does matter, Mike. If you hadn't arrived when you did, then we would have had no chance to stop them. 
And you kept putting yourself in danger, again and again, and... Mina, we're going to get through this. Mike. I mean it. Nice guy, Mike. Aww. Mike, <laughs> I can't. You don't know what's going to happen. Neither do you. Mike, about Madison in Rome, I... That's behind me. Okay. <laughs> Keeping it real professional. <laughs> oh my god, did he get to another another scene? I didn't mean to put you in danger. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I know you didn't, but the real problem oh, would have happened man's. whether you were here or not. And things would be a lot worse. Besides, I would probably be dead. And I don't like that idea much. I suppose you already have a plan. Save the day? Somehow. But first, I have to get back to the facility. Then take out the folks that trained me, along with any Marines, agents, or any other Halbeck thugs they've got with them. Get evidence on an international conspiracy. And prevent World War III. So I guess I better get started. We better get started. No, you need to get to safety. I don't want you getting hurt. And I'd be surprised if Westridge and Parker haven't already figured out someone's been feeding me information. If so, your life is in danger. I want to help. I can return to Alpha Protocol. I can still help you from the inside. I can't just throw you to the wolves. If you're sure. If I let anything happen to you now, I'd never forgive myself. Trust me, it's purely selfish. Just be careful. I think we're only gonna get one shot at this. This could be the last time we see each other. Don't count on it. I'm not letting you off the hook that easy. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. Haha, -ha, all those people we've made uh, contacts with. It's gonna turn out pretty useful. Um, all right, one sec, I'll be right back and then we'll uh, 